They are impressionable. Their value system, their sense of right and wrong is developing, and these drug-infested streets are their learning ground. From his window, this boy watches a world that could be described as not suitable for children's viewing. Police and a rescue squad try to revive an overdose victim. Other children gather around, but in their eyes, there is neither shock nor sadness. They've seen this many times before. This is the norm, and they try to cope. From this corner in Washington, you can get a good view of the Capitol Dome, or you can turn around and see this. Chapin Street, a drive-up, one-stop drug market. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, the drug peddlers are here. But this is also a family street. Daughters play, mothers watch, and streetwise teenagers smoke a little reefer while trying to make a few cells. Most of their customers want marijuana, some heroin, others cocaine. But as we discovered, whatever the demand, the peddlers have the supply. Columbia. This Colombian? Where can I get some coke? How much? They sell drugs to get money to buy drugs. How many people do you know your age who sell drugs? Uh, in my class, just about a half of them. Some drug counselors say it's a national epidemic, drugs and kids. And as one former addict says, drugs have no respect for race, creed, color, or age. Ray Nunn, ABC News, Washington.